your host Seishu at TiffinCast and I'm calling and talking to Mahesh Bhatt who is a photographer based in Goa. He was originally based out of Bangalore when uh, he wrote those wonderful posts for TiffinBox but today he's speaking from Goa and I was curious to know why he's sitting in Goa. So I said, Mahesh, let's talk. Mahesh, welcome. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Good. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, thanks. Excellent. How are you? Good. Um, one of the questions I have for you is, of course, you know, we've talked a little bit about uh, education and, and how photographers in India, especially, are being educated. And I think uh, it's a very interesting time in India uh, where photographers are starting to embrace photography in, in numbers that are phenomenal, I feel. You know, um, on a recent trip to India, I met with photographers and they love doing what they do. But what seems to be missing is, of course, the foundation and the mentorship, uh, which, is, which they have actually clearly told me is lacking. So what, what are you doing? I mean, as one of the leaders in, in India, as a photographer and as an educator, what are you doing right now to steer that ship? You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting, uh, actually, yeah, as you said, there is, uh, you know, a gazillion number of photographers in India. It's, uh, uh, it's strange for us, uh, people who started photography about oh, 25 years ago, you know, when I started, uh, you know, the camera was like a banned item in, bank, in, in India, you know, you couldn't buy it off the shelf. If you had to get a camera, we had to pay 250% import duty. So if a, if a Nikon cost $200 in in, in New York, it would be 250% of that, like 400 or whatever, you know, uh, uh, $600. And that is completely insane. And um, we couldn't get foreign exchange and all sorts of things. It was a really, really terrible uh, time to buy a camera. But today, you know, you can go and buy everything off the shelf. Every, you know, a camera that's released in worldwide is available in India at the same time and mm -hmm. everything. And uh, so, therefore, the number of photographers... Uh, uh, are are huge and a lot of picture people taking photographs and of course the mobile cameras the iPhones and the Nokia's you know they have really contributed to that explosion. But uh, though you know again compared to 87, 85, 87 or you know even the 90s when the information was not available. I mean you had to the only source of information for us was American photo magazine that used to uh, you know information in the sense internationally what to know what was happening, the American photo magazine that used to come a month later to India. And today it's all in your fingertips, you know. Uh, but still, uh, the curated information, the guides and the mentors who can really go out and teach people in the right way, uh, um, are, are the number is less, you know. Though there are a whole lot of photographic schools, so-called photographic schools, I would say, between the inverted commas, uh, are many, but the good schools are very few in India. So, uh, you know, to, to kind of uh, bridge the gap and to also to give back with all our experience that we have had, um, you know, uh, the, we started uh, one, the One School Goa. Uh, we, this is actually the baby of uh, my good friend Shantanu Shore. Shantanu uh, has been a preeminent fashion photographer of this country, uh, a, the most wonderful advertising and fashion photographer uh, that we have had, you know. Uh, he and I have been friends for over 20 years now, uh, and uh, uh, it was his brainchild, you know, Shantanu's brainchild to start the One School Goa. Uh, and he chose the location as Goa because, uh, you know, it's a very exciting place to live, beautiful place to live and a lot of creative people are around here. A lot of photographers are building their second homes here in Goa. And, uh, you know, it's not as crazy as uh, the big cities of India. Uh, so, so that's why uh, we decided to, you know, uh, to start the school in Goa. And I am the uh, head of photography uh, here. And, uh, you know, we're going to eventually start, not very soon, start film school as well, you know. So, uh, I'll be looking after the photography section of, this, of, the, of the one school go on. Uh, when, when you say you, you're starting a school, uh, give, give me a sense of what that format is going to be like. Is it going to be like t lectures and 
and then uh, demonstrations and then workshops or is it just straight seminars or is there a combination of different things where you know a student signs up and says I want to be a photographer let's say what are, what is what does he or she going to expect from the school you know right now we are running a three year program in photography and multimedia you know so we we are, feel that uh, you know three years are important to are needed required to really uh, you know expand somebody's a student's mind and you know develop her vision you know or help develop her vision mm-hmm. uh, you know in a, there are many uh, i think even internationally there are many courses available which are short term like six months or a year you know mm-hmm. uh, while those uh, uh, courses can help develop skills uh the the uh, uh three year course really help develop the mind as well mm-hmm. you know so we are running a three year program right now we the first year it's foundation where they understand basics of photography uh they understand all different genres of photography and in second year they specialize in three genres of their choice while art people and portraits and uh multimedia are compulsory with digital printing you know in the third year they the specialization narrows down to two subjects you know maybe for example in in the first year somebody might take uh, advertising uh, i'm sorry fashion still life and architecture say okay mm-hmm. uh, in the second year he or she will have to narrow it down to fashion and fashion and still life or fashion and architecture whatever whatever you know i'm just giving these are examples uh and we also um, the in the final semester of of third year uh, we uh, we help them intern either with a photographer or with a magazine we help them uh, we also teach uh, basics of marketing law you know regarding uh, ip intellectual property and so kind of a well rounded uh, uh, course in a way our classroom sessions are uh, limited like you know we we uh, in a day it may be one and a half to two hours maximum mm-hmm. unless when there is in a group critiquing and group discussion which then it'll go longer you know but uh, most of the time their students are out shooting uh, and they come back for reviews you know and uh, so that that's the so it's it's very hands on very practical very uh, a lot of one on one to one happening because the class you know, strength per batch is uh, you know not too much so you know we can really concentrate what on are you looking student. for what do you how many students are you looking for in each batch we already have 20 students uh eight i'm sorry 18 students in one batch you know and uh five in another so we have 20 23 students sorry 19 and 5 so 24 students right now yeah and that's all photography or is it a photography it's all photography and multimedia yeah and multimedia. because multimedia today has you know is a part and parcel parcel of photography you know of course. a lot of um, magazines clients everybody wants multimedia storytellers so mm-hmm. um, um and it's a new medium and and we really and you know the delivery platform photography uh, today is increase has is has increasingly becoming or become the personal screen mm-hmm. than the uh that just a print uh, medium or and it's no longer really a, the print medium so right right uh, with screen you can do a whole lot of new things uh and with html5 and you know everything in coming in the the, the there's hardly any limit to what you can do right uh, yeah what I, i you know one of the things i said was uh when i went to india recently and i was uh, privy to speak with a bunch of photographers you know they all said photography is booming here you know but they always ended with but there's this lack of uh mentorship and sort of guidance and what we do and what we produce um and there's there's also this terrible sense of protectionism amongst photographers in India and i think you and i have talked about this as well um how do you break away from that how do you how do you how do you, how do you for instance uh embed the uh, the notion with the new students at least that it's okay to share your ideas it's okay to make those uh leaps of faith in and sharing what you know with your fellow photographer 
because you're not gonna you're not going to uh, lose out. You're actually gonna gain. Is that is there is that that sentiment within the school? You mean amongst the students or the uh, faculty or uh, both? Really, I mean, I I, I I strongly feel that if the faculty feel that look, I don't have anything to hide. I'm gonna share everything I know with my students. That sense of okay sharing and that sense of you know being there for the students will encourage the students to do the same when they get out. I mean, one of the things that I think has held Indian photographers back is this, this notion that, you know, I shot this campaign for whatever magazine and I'm going to keep the secrets of this photo shoot to myself. While right now, if you look in the West, there's, there are behind the scenes shoots all the time. They're, they're giving away all their so-called secrets yeah. and you know and there's no sense of like oh i'm gonna lose you know the, my next client if i do that you see i'm looking for that mind shift and i'm wondering whether the school is prepared to do that well yes it's already happened here you know uh, because see all of us uh, shantanu uh, has been um, shooting uh, for over 35 years he has done major advertising campaign, major advertising films. Um, I have been a professional for over 25 years. Um, the other member of the board, Dinesh Khanna, whom you know, uh, he's been shooting for over 20, 25 years. Um, so we, 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 are not, we are pretty secure with, uh, you know, of course there is competition, but uh, we are pretty secure uh, about sharing uh, what, we, what, we, what we know and giving everything to what we, what we know to our students. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> And uh, I mean, even our young faculty, we, uh, one of our one of our faculty is a photographer called uh, Amit Shyokhand. He's uh, he's he's just uh, coming into the field in a way. You know, he was a lawyer. He turned photographer and he's been uh, doing his MFA in the, in the he did his MFA in the UK, and he's come to teach here. And 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 he loves teaching. He loves telling students. Uh, uh, everything that he knows. So mm -hmm. uh, that that's already uh, you know that's rubbing. Uh, on and uh, um, uh, therefore, a lot of other senior photographers uh, have come come forward to uh, to teach uh, at our school. Maybe Prashant Panjiar, who will come here after the Delhi Photo Festival. Um, Mahesh Shantaram from Bangalore. You know, David De Souza maybe from Bombay. Rafiq Syed. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're all uh, very senior, uh, experienced photographers. Uh, so they're all eager to uh, come and share their knowledge. So I guess uh, that's all, that's already happening. You know, w one thing is uh, what how you you only gain by sharing, uh, and uh, each person is different. So how much ever I give out to how many ever people, I'm me and he, she's she and he is he. You know, mm -hmm. so they're, they're my, we're all different kinds of people. So sure. I can only it only help them to develop their mind while giving me new insights as, as an artist, as a communicator, as a storyteller. So that's already happening at the one screen. Well, that's, that sounds wonderful. I'll be honest with you. I mean, that's the one thing that I was always nervous about um, when, when, when I heard from these two photographers that I've, uh, these few photographers I spoke with, almost everyone said the same thing that, you know, you know the senior photographers are afraid to share their information. And I'm, I'm glad to hear that the school is going to be different in this way, in this regard, where you are going to allow, uh, you know, your students to, to tap into your experiences from the past and understand, you know, how to do things, why to do, why to photograph in a certain way. Um, what else, what else would you say um, differentiates your school from another school uh, in, the, in the country? You know, uh, first of all, uh, there is no other school uh, that really offers a really a comprehensive three-year course in photography. Uh, there is no other school that uh, that helps a student to expand his mind or her mind as an artist, and not just of, and while uh, teaching all the skills required. You know, and uh, our location itself it's so beautiful and it, it's a you know where uh, you know go in goa the urban and the rural uh, mix very well and we are just, just about 15 20 minutes from uh, panjim the, the 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 capital of the of uh, goa and we are we we live in the middle of 200 acres of paddy fields so you know that sounds uh, lovely yeah it is it is it is beautiful so 
uh, you know, it gives a space to the three years a student spends here. Um, it gives her or him that that mind space to to work and develop. There's no other school really to, that that does it all. And, and the faculty, you know, uh, the permanent faculty who are here, three of us are you know, really committed and we have the experience uh, internationally working, you know, you know, that I have worked, uh, you know, for clients from over 20 countries. Uh, I have been working with Getty Images um, and uh, several others agencies. So a lot of experience in working internationally, uh, positioning oneself internationally, you know, all this, uh, the faculty there is also our strength. So faculty Curriculum, uh, ways of ways of teaching, our location, uh, everything I think is very unique uh, here in India. And you you know uh, you know it's it's what uh, seven thirty p.m. now. I'm still here, not just to have this chat, but I, I'm generally here till uh, you know uh, eight thirty or nine because you know I my wife is in Bangalore, so I'm uh, uh, you know I'm free. Uh, I want to teach students. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so I told my students, you know, that that uh, you know, my door is always open for them, you know, uh, th- uh, so they can they can come in any time, and, and uh, if I'm busy, they sit for a while and wait. So, so that that's how how it is, you know, uh, open culture. Excellent. So, uh, I, I'm really liking w- everything you've just said. I mean, I really everything gels so well with with how I would probably envision my own school if I had to open one. Um, what would you say is the school's mission? I mean, the school is not just a photography school, is it? It does. No, it it it, it as of now it's only photography and multimedia. But okay. we're starting a film, film school, school. Uh, film very soon in mm-hmm. the next few months. We're okay. starting a course. Yeah. Okay. So. Is there a common thread in, in sort of the school's mission uh, to, to to do what exactly for students? Uh, it's it's like uh, you know basically helping uh, to, in a way to set up a global creative village here. You know that's uh, the mission. You know uh, that's a vision. Uh, uh, it, it's like you know, Kowa can has the potential to become a Santa Fe. You know. Uh, I mean, I went to Santa Fe in '92 and uh, loved it all. With uh, uh, you know uh, the Reed Callanan, and I keep you know emailing him, and once in a while, um, it's a great place. You know how they, how it's transformed. It, it is almost you know it's quite far from all the other big cities, New York mm-hmm. or San, San Francisco, mm-hmm. but it's it's developed as a as a creative hub. For photography, and so I guess uh, we want to go. We want to turn Goa into a creative village, global creative village. You know, so I guess that, in a, in a nutshell, that's what it is. Wonderful, Mahesh. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, uh, Shishu, for this. I look forward to visiting the one school in Goa and certainly, yeah. hopefully, taking part in it at some point. Um, Absolutely. It'll um, be great to have you come here and do a course, teach a course. I'd love so, to. Yeah. love to do that. Um, yeah. You know, there's, you know you've, you've mentioned Dinesh D'Souza and you've mentioned Prashant Panjar and... Uh, Dinesh Khanna. Yeah. Dinesh Khanna, yeah. I'm sorry. Dinesh yeah. Khanna yeah. and Prashant Panjar. And, you know, these guys are uh, giants. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and the fact that you're spearheading it and the fact that I know your work and having seen your work over the years uh, tells me that the students are in for a real treat. I mean, they would be, you know, if they're interested even remotely in photography and feel like they should pursue it, I feel like the one school may be just a place for them to come and hang out and 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 enroll and see whether this is the this is the the the, the path that they need to take. Um, so thank you. Thank you for, for doing what you yeah. do. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for this interview and, uh, you know, talk to you soon. See you soon. Uh, you know, uh, maybe I'm definitely in, at, at, at the one school go, I'm sure. Thanks okay. a lot. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.